I need to take a sip. Okay, so hi you guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. I hope that all of you are doing amazing tonight. So, the Euros is in full effect, you guys already know. And my country, Sweden, played Spain tonight. We need to talk about this game. First, I just want to say, we are self-aware. We know how we play and all that. So before you guys say anything, because I'm sure that everyone is looking at Sweden, nobody is afraid to play against Sweden right now. But this was Spain. We're not going to play like this against the two other ones we're going to meet, Poland and Slovakia, okay? We know how good Spain are. They're more technical. They're faster. I mean, it's Spain. They can win the whole thing. So... We knew that uh, we were gonna play very defensively, 4 4 2. But we got a point, okay? We got a point. And it was against Spain, so like it was not just any team. And Spain played good. I mean, they are probably walking back very disappointed about this because they dominated the game with all the chances. Murata was so close. Ah, I can't believe the meantime we missed. <laughs> but. And then, uh, yeah, like with the possession, like they should have won this game. And we had our chances though too. Like we had some great chances and our goalie Olsen. Oh my God. He had some excellent saves. Like I said, it might have been the most pretty game, beautiful game that we played. But the saves that he made, they were beautiful, okay? And he kept us alive in this game. And pff, Isak, you guys. Alexander Isak, this guy is one of the most underrated strikers right now. He's only 21 years old. He's so mature, so confident. He's a boss. He's a leader. Can shoot with both feet. He, the dribbling, you guys, in this game. Oh, my God. The chances that he created was golden. It was so beautiful to watch. He embarrassed. Spain defensively. They're just dribbling pass. And then the pass that he made to Barry. He should have made that one. Same with Isaac. Oh my god. And the way he's so cool, calm and collected inside the box. And just... That is not easy. Uh, the things that he did tonight. They took him out. And when it was like 20 minutes left. And he was the only person on the pitch. That, you know, made us believe that we actually could score against Spain. And afterwards in the interview, the coach, he said that... It was because he just looked so exhausted and tired, you know, because he been running a lot and, you know, putting in a lot of work. I got pissed when they took him out, but at the same time, I get it, but at the same time, I don't, but yeah. Okay, so if I'm going to paint a picture here. The game ended with Spain having 86% possession, and that makes us 14%. Like, that's just crazy stats. That is insane. They... At least said control the game. I will say though, the second half, I actually enjoyed watching that one for most of the time. The first half, we can just forget about that one. But the second half was a more enjoyable. <laughs> Best moment tonight that I will not forget was Isaac with his dribbling. And just that he gave us the hope that I didn't think we ever could get in this game. I'm going to be honest. And he just gave us all the confidence and just showed the hunger single-handedly and I mean it was tough you know with the heat combined with the constantly chasing 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 playing without the ball like that's tough that's heavy that's not easy at all and then like I said once we get the ball that the quality was just so bad and I'm sure that they all you know can agree to that and you know have some things that they want to improve and work on you know, just together as a team you know, to be brave too and move forward but uh just that they stay collected though uh, as a team i respect that and like i said we got the point so that's it and next up is slovakia and then poland this slovakia beat poland by the way and uh, last time i checked it did i'm not sure i haven't seen the result but yeah, we're gonna see. I still think though that Spain is gonna top this group, obviously. And like I said, they can win the whole thing. Euros, they're just such a excellent, magnifique uh, team overall. But they didn't manage to score on us tonight, okay? <laughs> but I feel like they're gonna get uh, a lot of complaints and criticism for this one. But yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much else to say. I just want to say that. You know, I'm proud of my country, Sweden. We did it. We got a point, even though it wasn't, you know, in a graceful way. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game. Give me your opinion. And like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, bye. <laughs>